Hi everybody, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. Today is a totally different kind of DIY and this will end my Halloween series this year. So I'm going to be using black cardstock, crystal clear enamel, and white paint and we're going to go outside and we're going to find some spider webs. Now that's not hard for me because my front porch is always full of them. <laughs> you cut your cardstock down, you spray paint that spider web and you push the cardstock through. Please make sure there are no spiders in the spider web while doing this. <laughs> Once you are done, you just take your crystal clear enamel and spray over that and let that dry. And you get the most beautiful spider web. Now, my front porch, I can go out at night. I can sweep all of these spider webs off of them the next day they're back. So it's not hard for me to find a spider web. <laughs> But I was so amazed at how gorgeous these are. What's better for your decor for Halloween than an authentic, real spider web? Oh my gosh. Now, I was a little skeptic at first, but once I did it, look at these. Oh my goodness. These are absolutely gorgeous so I did the three sm or the two small ones then I went and cut a bigger piece because that's the one I'm going to be using and look how beautiful that came out so I had a thrifted picture frame that I got from Goodwill it was originally actually from Ross and see that picture does she look familiar she was in my last DIY so now I'm going to take some black spray paint and I'm going to spray paint that frame now, the smaller ones I did, I they were too small for this frame, but that larger one I did fit perfect. Oh my goodness, look at how gorgeous that is. And what a conversation piece. So when people come and they're like, oh, I love that picture, you can say, yeah, that's a real spider web. <laughs> so using my silver rub and buff, I'm going to put it over all the raised areas of this picture frame, bring out all the beautiful design um, on this frame. And the silver and the black really give it that spooky, eerie Halloween vibe. So we're staying within the theme of Halloween. I think no matter how you decorate, cutesy or vintage or scary like this could fit into all of them so once that's dry all you have to do is put that gorgeous spider web in the frame and it's easy peasy cut it down to fit I always use the glass and I position the glass over the cardstock to try to capture as much as of that beautiful web as I can. So I take the glass out, I kind of fit as much web as I can, and then I just use my pen and cut around the glass and cut it out with scissors. And then it fits in the frame perfectly. And you have this beautiful, simple frame that's more of a conversation piece because you went and caught your own spider web to do this DIY. How fun is that? Now, I'm like you guys. I know you're saying I'm not going anywhere near a spider web. There wasn't a spider in it. The spider is what's scary, but the webs they make are actually very gorgeous. So just make sure that spider is away from his home while you're capturing it. <laughs> And it's like a two-second process. Once you spray that web, you take your cardstock, push it through, boom. You're not like getting spider web all over you or anything. So believe me, I don't like spiders either, but I do like this project. I think that's gorgeous and authentic, and I could have never created this web on my own. So here's a closer look.
so beautiful. So I had this black box and I thought, hmm, if it works on cardstock, would it work on the black box as well? And look at this little uh, mat I got from Lowe's. How stinking cute is that? Oh my gosh. So I did the same thing. The next day I went out and bam, that little pesky spider had built a web again. So I sprayed that web. Maybe this will give him the hint to stay away because his home keeps getting spray painted and destroyed. I don't know. I'm sure he'll be back tomorrow. But I did the same thing and this time instead of using cardstock, I used the box. The bad thing was the lid of the box didn't fit through the hole, so I was kind of like going up to it and grabbing it. But the sides of the box, the lid didn't come out as well as I wanted it to just because it wouldn't fit. But the sides of the box came out amazing. How cute. A little real authentic spiderweb box to go with my frame. Now, I love that one, so that's going to be my front. I went to Dollar General and I grabbed me some spiders. You get three for a dollar. I'm kind of being careful opening it just because the packaging I'm actually going to use well I already did use it last week in my DIY I love these little netting packages and I always save them so I thought at first I was just going to use one spider I did end up using two I grabbed my silver rub and buff and I put it all over that spider to kind of bring out the details Plus, if I would have put a black spider on a black box, he would have got lost. So I really wanted him to stand out. And I just rubbed that rub and buff all over his legs, his body. I don't know if you can hear my cat, but he's going crazy right now, meowing at me. What's going on, Mason? He must not like me not paying attention to him right now. So I had that gorgeous spider now man it just like really brought out all those details I want the box lid to be semi open so I'm just going to add some hot glue to the corner of the lid and the corner of the box and I'm going to position my box glued down with it open in the front um, this was easier actually than I thought. I thought this was going to be more of a process. If you don't want to use the lid, all you have to do is maybe put some spider web inside the box. There's a lot of different ways you could go with this. Um, I really wanted to highlight that actual web, so I was keeping this pretty simple. So now I put some hot glue on that spidey butt and I shoved him in to glue him up top to the lid. So he's kind of crawling out of the box. And then here's where I decided that what two spiders is better than one. <laughs> so I did the same thing to another spider and I'm going to hot glue this little guy down to the top of the box. I'm also going to try to be very careful and hot glue his legs down as well, which should be a simple process, but sometimes rubber doesn't want to glue. So <laughs> I actually did a couple of times at this. Gluing down the spider wasn't the problem, but see how his legs were kind of wiggly wobbly all over the place? Straightening out those legs and gluing them down where I wanted was a little difficult. I did burn my finger and I'm so tired of hot glue burns. I do have things to cover my fingers, but do you think I remember ever to put them on? I'm so excited when I'm DIYing that I forget to grab my finger protectors and I end up burning the tips of my fingers. So I'm sure y'all can relate. <laughs> This is so cute, so easy. Oh my gosh. Um, boxes are something I find at thrift stores and Dollar Tree all the time. If it isn't black, you can always spray paint the box. So this is a real simple, affordable project to do. And I love the fact that it has authentic real spider webs on it, just like the picture. So did you like this project? Was, is this something you would actually try? Let me know honestly in the comments below.
as always, if you want to help me out and you guys have done such an amazing job, my apothecary video hit 32,000 views because of you, because you liked it, because you commented, because you shared it, because you just were present in the video. And it's something that you guys can do. It doesn't cost any money. Hit that like, throw me a comment. If you don't like the project, throw me that comment too. I've said that before. I All comments are welcome. We don't all have the same style, likes, opinions, everything. I don't mind you saying, oh, I didn't really care for this one. That's okay. But you guys help out my channel so much by doing those. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed and most wonderful week. I'll see you next Tuesday with some fall DIYs.